the next video, and while I was watching it, it reminded me of something, something very important, that I'm moving out soon, and since we are talking about living in a new, different house, that always brings up the possibility of the new venue being haunted by ghosts. Also the fact that I have had a nightmare about the new house I'm moving into. The next video was like a flashback to me, where an investigator was conducting a session of communication, asking for a sign of their existence in the house. There isn't any context regarding the backstory of the location, but it said that a crime might have taken place in there. As soon as he was on it, the sounds began. Sounds of what? Sounds of my stomach acid. Sounds of bangs, heavy bangs, followed up by even louder and much more bone-chilling heavy stomps coming from the ceiling. While he was in the bathroom, he heard what sounded like whispering. At least that's what I was able to configure out of the audio since the audio has been altered and modified, so it doesn't sound so clean. The house and its ghost aren't done with the man yet, not before he starts crumbling and running like a little boy. A wear drop was somehow pushed from its place so hard that it fell to the ground. Unfortunately, the investigator stood his ground and decided to keep the investigation on, so the stage was set, and the ghost decided to finish it once and for all. They did this man dirty, as he was trying to grab a towel from the floor, some force pulled the man and knocked him down. He stood up and scurried away, only to find a dog staring him down outside. <laughs>
Honestly, if I leave such a haunted house in a hurry like that and I find a dog staring me down, I may just go back in. That dog may hurt me more than these ghosts. I wouldn't be over-exaggerating when I say I was irritated while watching the next clip for the first time, as I wasn't very relaxed while seeing some college students flexing their muscles right in front of me, even though I know they were trying to impress some girls who were watching their live stream. But still, I'm not here to watch these kinds of videos. I was embarrassed and might have done something wrong that day, but I kept my composure and was waiting for the moment when the video takes the turn we are all here for, the turn where these guys would taste fear and see what it feels like. So what happened? Before I tell you, you should know that these students were live streaming from their apartment late Saturday night at Tamara Rakatya, a housing complex in Kuala Dongan, Malaysia. And now that you know where they live, you're free to take action. As they were enjoying the moments, a loud bang came from outside that shut their lights off. And I'm not talking about their house lights, I'm referring to the smile that was on their faces. Even though we are going to talk about the lights later, they decided to see what's going on and who could be causing such noise at this time of the day. They took the camera to make sure they captured any weird or terrifying outcome that may occur. Upon investigation, they couldn't find a trace of any intruder. They checked every room. The toilet, which was disgusting, had no traces on either. So before they knew it, one of the lights that should have been turned on was off all of a sudden. They had to go back to see what's going on only to be baffled by something creepy standing in the dark corner of a room like a mummy. That's what the rest thing boom to do. I'll get me on the bike. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh my pitu, my pitu, my pitu, my pitu, my pagi. My pagi, my pitu, my kita kita tengok, my kita kita tengok. Buka apa, Pi? Buka apa, Pi? Nak gugup, Abi. Buka apa, buka apa? Kenapa? Pitu ni bunyi ni dulu. Ha? Oh, kenapa buka ni? Kenapa? Kau itu ni, Encik. Dia dah masuk ni. Cukup. Kau itu ni, you dah. Kau. Ini boleh dah dengan lain. Akan, akan, akan. Mana tahu. Kalau nak buat muka cuy, boleh akan. Tunjuk ni, you. Tak buat apa? Tak benda dah? Apa ni? Apa ni? Sudah orang cakap apa dia ni? Kenapa? Ini cakap rapuh ni. Ha? Ini cakap rapuh ni. Ha? Cakap molek, Bi. Kau ada orang... Eh, ni molek. Ada yang? Jodoh ni. Bau sung tu makan. Musik. Kau ke bau tengok ni tu? Dia tu orang Takut orang lah. Puji tu lah begitu. Siapa orang masuk? Lapu bunyi ni. Duduk luar. Buka lah tu. Lapu luar masak lah. Lapu? Lapu luar masak? Bulok. Tak nak dia bulok. Tak, aku ada flash. Kau boleh apa rumah? Kau boleh, kau boleh. Ini tak ada kan, dia celah ni. Kenapa? Ini aku ni. Ini lorong aku ni. Ini tu bilik aku ni. Bilik aku ni. Bilik aku ni. Kau bukan aku tutup lah pura lah pura. Ini tu lah. Ada benda kat ni, Bik? Ada. Ada. Macam ni, Bik? 
Sana dua orang tu Allah Lampu pulak tutup Ya babi tu Bodoh Tinggal aku pun bodoh <laughs> Macam babi tinggal aku Lampu tutup pulak Luang luang ketang Luang je luang Luang ketang Bimbang Pia Cabut tu pipi Pia Ya. Ya. Dok gila tu. Dok sini gila dia. Allah Allah. Bodoh. Ya Allah. Bodoh bodoh bodoh. Babi ni gugah ya Allah. 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 I don't know why the last moment when they ran away wasn't convincing to me. I felt like they didn't put enough effort into that part. The cameraman could have easily screamed harder. Plus, what kind of apartment that looks like an internet cafe is that? How do I start with the next video? There are many ways I can kick this one off, but let me just start with, have you ever seen the sky raining random stuff? Don't proceed. I know that you're going to say that one day I woke to heavy sounds as if the sky was raining huge rocks, and when I looked by the window, I found blah blah blah. You know, I'm being logical here. The group of investigators in the next video are exploring what is described as a school. I don't know what's so schooly about it, but since there are school discs in it, let's just pretend like it was once a school, even though it looks more like a jail to me. Right from the beginning, an object dropped from the sky. The problem is that there were no ceilings, nor were there top floors near where they were standing to say that the object would have been thrown from. But that wasn't the only time where this unsettling, unexplainable incident occurred, as when they were inside one of the classrooms, a similar incident occurred where yet another object was thrown at them. There were many times where I couldn't explain where these things were coming from, but when it comes to the discs I just mentioned earlier, these were also being dragged around and pushed somehow. There was also a bed frame that kept moving and heading at one of the guys. It overwhelmed him at some point. It was like a lady in her late 30s who has never been in a relationship before and was desperate to be hit on by some guy. That bed frame was not standing still. That all sounds scary and nerve-wracking if you keep things in context. But the best part is yet to come, as in the end, while one of the investigators was playing with the string that turns on the fan, the door shut on him and some invisible force grabbed the man by his neck. <laughs> अरे पत्र हमने ये सोचा कि स्कूल है खैर स्कूल की होंगी पर लगती नहीं थी वो स्कूल की किताबें पत्थर क्यों आ रहे हैं और कहाँ से आ रहे हैं बार बार ये रिकॉर्ड की है कोई चीज की रही है टेबल की रहा रिकॉर्ड हुए वो सामने शायद कैमरा था मेरे ख्याल से इधर ही ये वाला गिरा है ना ये इसके ऊपर क्या लगा ब्लड लगा हुआ है क्या लगा हुआ है <coughs> पता नहीं ऊपर चीजों ने इतनी ज्यादा यहाँ पर जो है वो मूव मूवमेंट हुई एक्टिविटीज हुई यहाँ पर कहते हैं कि ऐसे भी होता है कि वो हमें इतना तंग करती है दलील करती है कि रात को हम जाते हैं तीन के टाइम शाम को जब हम घर चले जाते हैं ये सारा सामान जो है ना उठाकर बाहर फेंक देती हैं फिर हम इस सारे सामान को पूरा दिन लगा कर अंदर रखते हैं फिर वो बाहर फेंक देती है ये भी जो है वो चीजें करती हैं वो अंदर 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 ये किस चीज के आवाज थी कुछ अंदर कोई मूवमेंट हुई है ये नहीं पता क्या हाँ और किधर किसी भी सूरत में किसी जानवर की फिर लाख ये क्या पहले भी शायद जी इसमें मूवमेंट हुई थी ना ये गिरा था ऊपर से मेरा ख्याल है
दरअसल आपको पता नहीं चला होगा इस किशोर में ना ये छत पे है क्या यार ये जी उसी ये देखिए ऊपर से ना भागना शुरू हो जाते है लगी बच किस लगी तो यार ऐसे जैसे ना कुछ चीज छत के ऊपर आ गई और फौरन ही जो है नीचे आ गई ये देखे वो अब ऐसे लग रहे हैं जैसे वो चीज ना ओ, ओ, ये वो पर मतलब पहले ही उस चीज की आहट जो है ना वो आना शुरू हो जाती है महसूस होता है जैसे वो चीज आती है ना पास हमारे देख रहा हूँ कोई किताबें वगैरह पढ़ी हो क्योंकि जो पहले किताबें थी ना के अंदर हमें डाउट था कि कुछ ना कुछ ऐसा होगा ओए बच्ची 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 हाथ रखने ओए बड़ा वजनी है यार क्या आप बता सकते हैं हमें क्या आप क्या क्या चाहते हैं ओए सब दरवा खोलना यार अंदर पहले भी बहुत ज्यादा जो है ना वो हबस है गर्मी है सांस ही बंद हो रहा है जलन अखबार ये क्या है हैं कोई पंखा वैसे चलना शुरू हो गया तो तो ऐसे ही लगा है जैसे कोई चीज टूट कर गिरी है ऊपर से समाज क्या है हमें पता है आप को अच्छा नहीं लग रहा हमारा आना क्या आप हमसे बात कर सकते हैं सामने आ सकते हैं क्या छत के ऊपर हैं आप अंदर हैं अंदर ध्यान से उसके ऊपर देखना लेकिन इस लोकेशन पर आकर दो दो जो है वो बैटरीज कैसे करना तो ये समय से बाकी है खैर ये जो कैसे लगा जैसे कोई चीज ये टूटी तो चेयर है ऐसे लगा जैसे कोई चीज ना जहां पर लगेगी ये तो अच्छा खासा जो है कट्स लगाएगी तीन चार इसके ये और ये सांस ही अटक जाती है पीछे भी टेबल पे कोई पड़ी हुई है बुक शायद वैसे हो एक वो पीछे टेबल पे पड़ी हुई है बुक शायद वैसे हो हो सकते हैं नीचे का ना कोई तवीज है क्या है क्यों हमें जो है वो लाया उसके बाद हम क्लियर कर देंगे क्लियर तो हम अभी भी कर सकते हैं
यार ये हुआ क्या था एकदम से यार ठीक तो उस चीज ने पहले दरवाजा बंद किया उसके बाद मुझे नहीं पता अंदर क्या होगा आपके साथ At least he was forced to try the bed frame in the end, whether he liked it or not. And what's with him touching that string so delicately? I felt like he was trying to get a romantic shot in the middle of a paranormal mess. I have no idea what happened in the next video, not because I'm blind or something, but I bet you that even if I were with the man in the next video, I would still be left speechless after what has occurred. The man is well known as MQ Studio, so I will call him Chen. Chen was exploring a decayed abandoned house in China, since he is famous to do that. Throughout the investigation that I couldn't watch because the clips feature only the parts where he confronted the paranormal activity, Chen was not intimidated until he stumbled upon what looked like a box of some sort. Due to the quality of the video, you have to watch very carefully to pick up everything that happens. He was stopped in his way, and he had to make sure that what his eyes were seeing wasn't delusion or trick games. At least, that's what I, as a viewer, hope it is. It said that he encountered a head appearing from behind the box, but after I rewatched the video, the head was actually clear. It's just that it had such a bright skin color that I could barely tell what it was. Now you might be asking, it could easily be faked because someone could be hiding from underneath the ground. There could be a gate on the floor that leads there. Yeah, you're right, except that you're not, because there was no gate on the floor in fact. The head wasn't the only thing this man encountered, as a hand also appeared later on, which terrified Chen so much to the point where he sat up a string trap to capture whatever was appearing. But that ghostly force was way too strong when pulling the string. In the end, it concluded with a bang. I mean, with banging sounds. What's in it out of all I? Yeah. What's in it out of all I? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> you, you want to kill me, right? 然后之后你出来好吓唬我，我知道你啥意思。你说这平时他们都这么搞我，今儿你休息，你给我出来，看着我。今儿你休息，你给我出来，看着我。老师在此说法里，你的毛躁文化，请你给我我的文化，请你给我我的文化，请你给我我的文化，请你给我我的文化，请你给我我的文化，请你给我我的文化，请你给我我的文化，请你给我我的文化，请你给我我的文化，请你
绳，走鬼，去！哎，操！哎，哎，哎，你操！用力跑，操！抓你头，你妈！你叫你好，操！叫你好，操！哼！叫你好，操！哎哎哎！啊！这是我不是故意的。姐姐，你在吗？我最后再再玩一次，行吗？姐姐，你没死的嘎吧？啊！啊啊啊我操！快点，我活够了，你再出来一次行吗？哎，你别走啊！你别走，你别走。It's the first time I find it struggling to explain or debunk a Chinese paranormal investigation. Typically, it would be easy for me to tell which one of these guys is staging, even though I'm capable of replicating such things using VFX. A man who goes by the name Novice Wild Camper has decided to visit a forest in the UK. Did I say visit? It sounds as if I'm talking about some friends meeting or a museum. The man, and let's call him Callan, went to camp in a forest in the UK, a regular camping trip. He arrived at the location, decided where to set up the tent, and stayed the night comfortably. The end. So, that's the end you were wishing for, Callan. But it's not how indeed things actually happened. The man sleeps in his hammock as the night falls, and he can't see what's behind him. He began hearing sounds around him, and it sounded as if something or someone were approaching him. Since he is in the wild, he suspects it could be some deer, but what if it wasn't? Tree branches were falling near his tent, and on it, it was so random and unexplained that he felt like someone was indeed taking this action. He had to return to his car and complete his night there. Before he left the area that day, he encountered a man, someone mysterious, which brought up the stories of people who disappeared in that forest. I would have told you that you're good to go if he didn't make part two, where he returned to the forest with full equipment, like an infrared camera, and only here where it got interesting, as the cameras capture lights that may not belong to animals. The weirdest part was the handprints on the trees, something out of a horror movie. It's not exactly late, but I am very tired, and laying in a hammock does not help it. It's just too comfortable. There's a huge amount of noises around here. I've picked a uh, chestnut tree wood, so there are chestnuts crashing around constantly. Sounds like Bigfoot's throwing rocks at the hammock. Um, I've had a couple of near misses and a couple of hits, but yeah, going for a fun night. Well, I'll be honest, this is the first time I've ever done this. Um, I'm actually sitting back in my car now. Uh, it's four o'clock in the morning. It was forecast to be dry all night long and uh, three o'clock it just started hammering it down with rain. That's not the issue. I sort of fell asleep to the sound of chestnuts crashing through the trees and hitting the deck. And it's the same sound every time. Sort of crunch, 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 thump. After the rain started, I could just hear, I, and I know, these are deer, muntjac, badgers, squirrels, whatever. But some crashing around that got nearer and nearer and nearer to my hammock. And every time I moved or got out to check, it stopped but didn't run away. So I'd expect if there was a deer or something, I'd hear it run off. Um, 
But the weirdest thing was, the rain started to die down. So it was just a tiny bit of power. And suddenly by my hammock, a massive, massive thud hits the ground uh, and bounces. And I jumped up, unzipped it, put my torch on, and there's a rock on the floor that wasn't there when I went to bed. And I lay back down, and I'm just laying there listening. Then another one. And then another one. This went on three or four times at least. And then a large branch. There was no crack. There wasn't like a crack and then a crash. Just a large branch hit my tarp. It, it bounced the tarp down onto the, the hammock and then bounced off the tent. There was, again, there was no movement. There was no nothing. Now, I don't know what it was. Leave the camera on for a bit. See if it picks anything up. I'm getting packed up, stuff the bacon walls. And this is crash behind me, and literally this doesn't land coming down. It bounces towards me. It hit the floor and was still rolling towards me. This place is freaked out. Right, goodbye freaky woods. I'm never coming back here again. In there seems to be where most of the noise is coming from. Okay, it froze there for some reason. Obviously it picked something up. But when I zoomed in, it just shut down. There's two f***ing handprints. Just put my torch on. That wasn't there two seconds ago. I swear that one wasn't there. There's two. What the hell's that? That's showing up. Hot behind a bush. There's another hand mark on there. So it was in the early hours of the morning, there was some sunlight, or there was some daylight, um, but you can see something sort of down the bottom of the picture here move. Uh, and then the camera clicks a couple of times. So it's almost like something was trying to grab the camera, which is a bit odd, but then it just shut off. So, well, there we go. These traces could mean that either there was a man trying to freak out campers, but that would be way too difficult to spot and most likely would go unnoticed by visitors. So could it be signs of ghostly figures or signs of two teenagers doing what shouldn't be done on a tree? These handprints could also belong to those who didn't subscribe or watch the next video on screen.